Welcome back to the ninth episode of Cross Tag Episode Mode and possibly the last episode of Episode Blaze Blue. So last time we met up with Orion Weiss over in the cathedral and Hadama came by to give us a surprising helping hand. Certainly not the most expensive expected of outcomes, but we managed to squeak through. I hung out. I have Victor. Of course, it didn't come with, well, out some friction. Alas, there wasn't much of anything of too much interest last chapter besides just like little friendly jokes inside and out. But we're now in chapter eight. And this background is a whole new one. So let's go ahead and try to see how this is likely to end. Because I'm sure that you guys are just as excited as I am to see what's going to happen. And I don't want to keep y'all waiting. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the game. But she's not here either. Guess I better keep looking. You have arrived. <gasps> yes! It's my girl, S. It's my Wait. girl, S. S? Yes. Yes. Okay. Like, when we're talking about Blaze Blue. She is by and by far one of the people that I was quickest to attach to and most interested in learning. So I have a pretty solid understanding of her and I'm so excited to be able to fight with her. And also if she's here, that means things are about to get big. Let's see exactly how. I have been waiting for you. For me? Don't tell me you're after this thing too. Correct. The keystones are the heart of this world, the phantom field. Oh, she knows. Well, of course she, <laughs> all is as is your wills it. I have been tasked with collecting them. Phantom field? You, what do you know about this place? This place is an ephemeral world. Mm -hmm. A momentary dream, born from a consciousness wishing for a world of its own. Oh, so it's just in this year? Is that what you're saying? And the linchpins of that dream are the crystals, one of which you hold. So this... This... The crystals can connect worlds. Okay, okay. Each chose an individual world and brought their respective players here. However... So that's why it said they had to redo stuff at the beginning of the prologue. That however seems to be quite a big however. This is where the dream ends. Ragna the Blood Edge, please hand over your keystone. If I give this to you, what will you do with it? Are you telling me you're going to take everyone back to their original worlds? It is not my place to end this dream. The only one who can do that is her. I merely wish to fulfill my mission, to complete my contract. Contract? Contract? Yes. Contract. I shall collect all of the keystones. Then, my wish will be granted. Ooh. Ah, that's... The thing I've dreamed of will be mine. Huh? Enough talk. It is time to complete my mission. You want to fight, huh? Well, too bad. We're the only ones here. 
In this world, a one-on-one -on -one won't cut it. Do not worry. Oh. What the hell is that? There's one. If I create another shadow, the conditions will be met. Wait, wait, will be a chief? Come on, this is just bizarre. One shadow is enough. Oh. Hmm? If you have the resolve to use that blade, then mine will be there to meet it. Uh... Oh, Jin must love this because he hates Ragnar. Jin? Brother, I knew you had to be here. I wanted to see you so badly, brother. Jin, I don't have time for your bullshit right now. Oh, I'm aware, brother. I know exactly what's going on here. We have an obstacle to eliminate first. Jin Kisaragi, a wielder of the power of order. Huh. Spare me the small talk. Let's get started. I'm looking for information, and you're gonna give it to me. I almost like I might misunderstood the situation slightly. Uh, pretty unfortunate that I, I don't get to play my S. Get ready. Uh, but let's play with some ice, I guess. Some ice and shadows. But I do want a shadow skin. I hope we get. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. Oh. The fact that she didn't do a full counter though. Yeah. She's going tall. But here is where I I really don't know exactly how to do that. Wait, is she going to tank Ragnar? Let's go. It's kind of weird though, not here. Can you not go or? Okay. Ooh, that was fairly big. But... Oh. We can finish this right here, but you know? I mean, yes, you are going to handle this yourself. I'll go for more feather finish, but oh well. Nice try. You had no chance against us in the first place. No one could ever sever the bond between me and my brother. Oh? <sighs> I mean, you're not wrong, but let's not get too weird in front of the girl here, Jin. This is truly unfortunate. I sincerely hoped. Uh... You look really disappointed in yourself. Wait, wait, wait. If, I, if what I'm thinking is correct here, we're about to hear something ridiculous. I could not fulfill the contract. My power was insufficient. I don't care about your contract. Tell me why you want the keystones. The one who seeks the crystals is Rachel Alucard. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get to. She is collecting the keystones. That is the only way to escape this world. So you're telling me that Rachel knows how to get home? Knowing Rachel, it's probably some method only she can use. Correct. That is why Rachel Alucard... <laughs> no. The Keystone. Whoa, what? Why is it lit up like that? I sense a power akin to the Azure emanating from within the crystal. The Azure? Could it be? The compressed energy is expanding, trying to free itself from the crystal. Oh boy. 
And as it grows, it's beginning to become unstable. Unstable? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tremors? It couldn't be. This is supposed to be its own isolated space, which means... This world itself is shaking. Brother, let's go at once. I'll destroy it with Yukianasa. Right! No, wait! Are you sure it's okay to cut it? It's the only hope. It's too late. <laughs> Fade to black and Ooh. What? Where am I? Chapter nine. So last time where we thought we were going full circle, we actually found ourselves having a very quick session with S. Uh wasn't too much, it's really just like a circular thing almost filler kind of just basically hey yeah rachel wants it again uh but she doesn't want to just talk to you because she's rachel so here we are but what's interesting the fact that she was able to summon a shadow which seemingly should have only been able to be done by the ai observer behind it so that's interesting and we still don't know a lot of other stuff but considering the fact that we're on chapter 9 we can assume that there's going to be at least a few answers coming up however that's for next video so i hope you guys all enjoyed and if you did leave some comments tell me what you liked disliked etc and enjoy the next episode Thanks for watching.